Hello traders, today I'm going to be showing you an easy way to copy your trades from MT5 over to DX Trade. We know there's been a lot of panic around prop firms leaving the MT5 space over to other applications such as DX Trade and C Trader. And if you're affected by this, this may be you, an Alvo trader that have expert advisors trading on the MetaTrader 5, or you prefer trading on the MetaTrader 5 application. This video is for you. We're going to show you how to copy your trades from MT5 to DX Trade. A very simple way. So the first thing you need to do is to head over to stack.tradingkennel.com. And you can see I made a post here about 22 hours ago. Now, if you're finding this video about uh, six months from now, just head over to my timeline and um, trading kennel stack. And you can see this post that I made. Okay. Now, make sure you're logged into our community or else you might not be able to access this resource. And this is a link to actually download the application that we're going to be using for the copy trading. It was developed by Trading Care Developers. And we also added two resources here. We added an introduction.zip file and the class.zip file. The introduction.zip file covers everything you need to know about the DX Trade API. We understand that uh, the DX Trade API might be difficult to understand and create uh, uh, a code around it, especially when you're doing so in Python. We made the research and we didn't find out uh, any resource out there that helped us. So we just did this and uploaded this for you guys. So you have the part one here where you're creating the section. So in the part two where you are uh, getting your account information, part three where you are placing an order, closing an order, and the part four where you're getting an or, uh, your orders list and converting that into a data frame. Okay, and the, for the part five, which is the class, we have the DX Street API. So this is basically, uh, this basically covers everything you need in order to create a Forex robot around the DX Street REST API. So if you need to place an order, you need to get your account metrics, information, you need to ping, you need to uh, do a lot to uh, get your orders list. Everything is here. So for example, if you want to get your account metrics, you can go to DX Street dot get account metrics. Or if you want to get uh, your, they will place an order, you can just DX Street dot place order and then add in this information here. Okay, so that's for developers. Uh, but if you just want to copy trading, then you can download this resource here. Okay, this is what the resource actually looks like, the MT5 DX3. This is the .ra file you're going to be downloading. Obviously, once you're downloading, then you can extract it. And we have a uh, lot of files here. All of these are requirements that the software needs to run. You can see SKLN, uh, Tally, but TCL, uh, TK, all of these are uh, uh, dependencies that the software actually needs to run. Okay, and all of these DLL files too. So you scroll down here, you can see the MT5 DX3.exe file. Okay. So you can just open this up and it's way faster than when you compile everything into a DX trade, uh, .exe file, single.dxe file, it takes a lot of time and uh, this is way better. Okay, so this is what we have now. Just gonna go over here and expand uh, this out properly here. Okay, so you can see what's the DX trade, MT5 to DX trade copy here. Actually, like, like I said, it was developed by TradingCanal.com and we have uh, a lot of tabs here. But well, the first thing we need to do is to connect to our MT5 and our DX3. And you can see the connection settings tab here. So we're going to be adding our MT5 path or the link to our MT5 targets. And uh, this is our MT5 here. So one way to do that just by right clicking on the MT5 icon, right clicking again on the icon that comes up, clicking on properties. And you can see the target here. Okay, if you don't find the target here, you can just click on open file location. And then you copy the target to the terminal64.exe file. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this here, going to minimize this here, and I'm going to paste this part here with the puts. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is to head over to FTMO and copy the address here. Okay, so this is the URL to FTMO. Just going to paste this here. You can add the URL to whatever platform you're trading. If you're trading this on instance funding or whatever platform, you can add that here. Okay, so make sure you don't have a forward quotes or forward slash after the um dot com okay and also make sure that this is not in quotes all right so next i'm going to be adding my account number I'm just going to copy my account number here and I'm going to paste the account number here and then i'm going to copy the password copy the password and i'm going to paste the password here okay so i'm just going to click on connect it's going to a second to connect to both platforms and you can see it says connected to MT5 and the actual account successfully. Now you can see we now have the account equity and the account balance. This is drawing from the DXTrade application. So you can see the account equity of your DXTrade account 
in the account balance of your Jack Street account. We also have open kernel, open positions, and open orders. So guys, if you want to have more features here and more features, maybe you want us to, you know, add uh, uh, a function where you copy from one MT5 to multiple DX Trade accounts, just let us know. Okay, this is the version one. It's absolutely free. We're going to be creating the version two soon. So I want you guys to suggest the features that we're going to be having on the version two. So comment below what feature you'd like to see and what feature you think you're going to be using the most in uh, future versions of this application. All right, so now we've uh, been able to connect to both platforms. The next thing we want to do is to start the copy trader. So you can just click on this control button section here. You can just click on start. Okay, so it says started copying trade. Now I want to uh, notify you guys on something. On the connection status, we say uh, MT5 status set to connected and the Jack Street status is set to connected as well. But for the trade settings, we're going to be adding a feature in the uh, future versions of this software where you can actually copy trades using specific magic number and specific order comments to over to your DX3 application. But for this uh, particular version, this doesn't work now. Okay, so now we've done our started copying trades. Next thing we're going to do is to head back to our MT5 and try to place a trade. So I'm just going to place a trade on XUUST, click on new order, and I'm going to change this to 1.0. Okay, so I'll click on buy. And you can see I now have a buy order for XAUST. So if I minimize this here, you can see I also have a buy order uh, of a quantity. Remember, this is a quantity and not in uh, lots. This is quantity and I have a buy order for XAUST. Now, you don't need to be logged into your DX trade application in order for this copy trader to work. Okay, it uses the REST API to copy these trades. But I'm just going to log in here to show you guys that the application actually works. Okay. Let's just give this a moment. All right. So as you can see, I'm currently logged in now and I have a buy trade for XAUST for 1.0 lots size. Okay. See the same thing here. So volume is one and the volume here is also one. But for this section here, the quantity says uh, 100. So this is in quantity and not in lots. Okay, as so you can see, it says opening buy symbol. Next, let's try to open another trade on, uh, let's say, EURUSD. Okay, let's try to open a sell trade on EURUSD here. So sell trade for 0 0.25 lots. Okay, so I'm just going to sell. Just give this a moment. All right, so you can see I now have a sell treat for EURUSD. And if you head over to my application here, you can see we also have a sell treat for EURUSD here. Okay, and you can see the open PNL and positions now shows two. Okay, so I can also now close uh, these two positions here. I can close these positions here too. And over on my deck trade copy here, you can see that the trades are now closed. Okay, so zero, zero here. Zero, zero here okay so if i head over to my uh ftm you can see that both trades have also now been closed as well now there's a little bit of lag between when the trade is opened and when the trade is actually being copied over to the platform that lag can take anywhere from one second down to milliseconds okay so obviously the application has to detect that you've opened the trade on the MT5 application and copy that trade over to the DXU application. So obviously the positions or the profits are not going to be the same. Okay. So if you have any questions, guys, feel free to reach out to us at support at So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.